Welcome back to Darlene's Creative Studio. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. It is now December 26th and our prompt for the day is Silent Night. I always find the day after Christmas to be a nice, quiet, reflective evening. We've done all our heavy eating and our visiting and our opening of gifts. So Boxing Day or December 26th is kind of our day of just chilling out. And this is the perfect day to do this because it is snowing like crazy out there. And I'm going to show you what it looks like outside my front door. Yes, that is my white Christmas that I asked for. <laughs> when I ask for a white Christmas, I get a white Christmas. Anyway, today we're going to be working on our December daily, um, day 26 silent night. I'm just going to remove my prompt. And I think I am going to just work with some of the papers that I found when I was sorting through all of my papers, um, Christmas papers, and I came across um, some really pretty pages. And this was one of the pages that I came across. And it was a full page and it had some large... Um, kind of borders and all that kind of stuff on it. And I don't normally use the full size of a scrapbooking paper. So I've just cut it down to the size that I can use inside my book. So I've got this one. Um, and I also had a large sheet with some beautiful flowers on it and some holly. So I thought I maybe would use these two in my layouts. So let's get into our book. Let's move this out of the way and let's get into our book. And it's getting nice and full, as you can see. It's getting quite chunky. And I've been filling in my pages. I've put my mother-in-law in there and my mom. And my Christmas present was all of us sitting at the dinner table eating our dinner. So I've been kind of updating it as I go. Um, so we are now on this page here. And for this page, I think what I'm going to do is have this on this side, or maybe on this side. I haven't decided which side I'm putting each of them on, but these are the two papers that I'm going to be using. And then I have this Christmas card. Um, it's from England, and I absolutely love this. And because it's snowing and we have all this snow, I thought this was appropriate for our, <laughs> for our page. So I might put that on that side and make this a pocket. But I really, really like this page. And then this side, I was thinking either that kind of paper or maybe just a scrap of this one. Because all I'm going to do is put some tags in some little pockets, um, some of these little pockets, and put a few tags in there. Um, so I might either do this one or I might do that one. I was kind of playing with it a little bit, and this Merry Christmas wouldn't fit on there, so I can't use that. So I definitely want to use these. I think I'm going to try and cut down this one to my 5 by 7.5. So just give me one second while I cut this guy. So I just need it under 5 and under 7.5. Let's see if that will work. Yeah, I think I like that. Just gives it a little bit more. And then I'm just going to use some of these little um, envelopes. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with. I also have, um, these are the envelopes. When my husband and I were in Florida, we would go to the shrimp basket, which was down the street, and they would put our, our fork in these little bags. You take your fork out, and then they just throw these bags in the garbage. So every time we went, I was collecting all these bags, and I had this really lovely couple behind me that gave me theirs. Um, this was last year when we were there. So I like to use these. I cut these down, and I make little tiny envelopes out of them. So I would cut this at, say, maybe three inches, which I will do on my cutter here. I'll cut this down three inches. I'll do um, two of them. So all I've done is cut the bottom off, and there's the center, and there's the top. And then what I would do for these is I would just, <laughs> to make another envelope, and I think this one's a little too big, let's see. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna trim a little bit off this one. I don't like them to be too big. So all I do is to make my bottom, very simple, cut up the sides about um, a quarter of an inch. Like that, and then I just trim that back piece off. So I just go straight across and cut my quarter inch off, like that. Hang all my corners, put a little glue on this flap. Oops, I had my glue, left my glue open while I was playing this morning. <laughs> put a little glue on the flap, and then I fold the bottom flap up. Like that, and that gives me a little envelope. So I do the with the bottom one. All I'm going to be doing is creating that little arch. So again, I'm cutting from the top, and then I I normally bend it down so it's even, like that, and then I just cut across that line. Yeah, I recycle everything. I'm crazy. My husband laughs at me, but... And then I just round those quarters out. And I have a little envelope. So I would do the same thing with this one. I would create a bottom, cut up the sides, and create my little bottom flap. And then I would do the same at the front, and then create that little arch. So I would get at least three envelopes out of one of those long fork envelope things. <laughs> Anyway, I'm taking one of those little envelopes, and this is the bottom half of it, and I've only made it about um, two inches tall. And what I'm going to do is take, I have these snowflakey things. I'm going to actually stick one of those on the front of it, so that's the front of my envelope. Um, so let's start on our first one. We're going to put this piece of paper in there, and yes, I'm going to distress the edges. And this is a little bit of cardstock, so I don't need to use my little distress board there. I'm just going to distress the edges of this a little bit. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm just going to use this because this is sketchbooking paper and it's fairly thin and I don't want it to come through the other side. So I think we'll be okay with this one. Just make sure we get those edges and those corners. That's always the important part. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue this down. Now because my journal is getting quite full on that side, it's getting harder and harder to press these pieces in. There we go. I always make sure I do my edges. So there's the background for that one page, and I just love this paper, and I've been saving it for a couple of days, hoping I can use it. And then I'm going to distress the edges of my card here. And I did trim this card down. It did say Season's Greetings on it, and I did cut that little part off, and there was a little bird on the bottom that I cut off, and I just glued him over top of where it said Season's. Um, so I'm going to put him on there like that, and I'm going to glue him down with the Fabri-Tac, but I'm going to do the three edges so that I have a pocket there. Let me get my glue going here. I'm almost out. I should probably just get another drawer. Here we go. Make sure I have enough glue on those edges to hold this card down because it's fairly thick. Alright. Try and get it off my hand. Okay, now I'm going to put this on this right here. Like that. And that will be my pocket. So I can put a little card in there to journal on. And I think what I will do with this side is I will take my Silent Night. And I'm going to put Silent Night just right up there because that's the kind of scene that to me it's nice and it's going to be snowing and you know we know we're not <laughs> we know we're not going anywhere. 
Um, I did go over to my mom's this morning and clean off her car. Just to, um, her windshield wipers were frozen to the windshield, so I made sure I scraped all that off just in case she had to go out for any reason. Normally, I would just tell her to call me and I'd pick her up, but I wanted to make sure her car was dug out and the snowplow guy that came around didn't do a very good job. He kind of plowed her in. She's in a parking lot for her apartment building and did a terrible job, but anyway, she's all settled. She's all cleared out. <laughs> I said to her, give it an hour and we'll have to come back over and clean your car off again. Because <laughs> these snowflakes that are falling are just huge. There might even be a snowman snow. It might be nice and thick wet snow. I hope it is. I'd like to build a snowman. Okay, so we've just distressed the edges of that and cardstock and I'm going to put him, I'm just going to get the edge of him so I can see where it's going to sit when I go to glue it on. Okay, so it's fairly close to the top and bottom, so I, I know that. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac again because I'm gluing this to another layer of cardstock. If it's thinner paper, I don't mind using my regular glue. All right, it's time to get it in. Here's the Heinz ketchup commercial. Trying to get the glue to come. Here it comes. And when it gets this old and hard to squeeze out, um, I find it dries very quickly. So when you go to glue this onto your page, the glue at the bottom um, that you started with is starting to dry rather quickly. So let's get this guy on real quick here. I stayed up last night to do a little bit of my planning for the future. Things that I have to get done in January. Um, started making my lists. So that was kind of nice. Had a nice quiet evening. Okay, so we've got our background done. And I really love this paper. This is just really pretty paper. And this is from the Stamperia, I believe, this particular background here and then I'm just going to use one of these and I'm just going to put two little tags on here and I'm going to use these washi stickers and I think what I'll do is I'll peel the washi sticker you know me and stickers my best best friends come on you can do it <laughs> I'm going to get a sharp knife out and I don't know why they just don't cooperate with me. There we go. I think I got it coming. Sort of. <laughs> Half the time I get frustrated and just turn the camera off so I can peel my stickers. <laughs> ah, it's so funny. All right. These are not cooperating at all. There we go. Of course, I've been there. Okay, so we're going to peel that sticker off, and I'm just going to put him onto the front of the envelope. Make sure he's kind of centered like that. And then he's going to, you know what? I think I'm just going to fold him right over to the back, and I'm going to worry about trimming him off. So that will be one of my pockets. And then I have some of those tags that I showed you from the Stamperia. I'm going to use these as my little tags to put inside the envelopes. And they are going to go there. So I think what I'm going to do is distress the edges of these envelopes. Just a little bit so you can see them while they're sitting on the page because it's hard to see them when it's white on white. Okay, so let's try that. Close that. So let's see if that one fits there. Yeah, that looks nice. And again, we'll just use this because it's just a... Let's see if we can get our glue working today. There we go. So we're just going to glue these down. And these are um, almost paper. They don't, they're not actually... Um, vellum or wax paper these are actually just paper 
So they're kind of nice and they glue really well. So there's our first one, and then I'm going to put my tag in there, and I'm going to cut, um, put some paper on the back of these, so I'll just set them in there for now. So there's that one, and then I thought I'd do another one farther up, and I have this tag that kind of goes with the theme of the other side. Oops. Let's see if that looks all right. And then I'll just kind of tuck him in behind there, and he'll go there. So I think that'll be pretty. So let's distress the edges of him. Let's see if I can peel the second sticker. <laughs> see how much trouble we have with the second one. I find if I bend the plastic back, then I can get at the... My goodness. Ta-da! Or as Belt says, dun dun. <laughs> dun dun dun. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. And flip it around. Like that. And then I'm just gonna distress the bottom of the sticker. Okay. So I like to put the tag inside the pocket so that when I go to glue this on, I will see where it's going to sit. So let's put some glue on this. Okay. I'll put this guy upside down like this. And we'll just tuck him underneath there. For a second. There. Do we have that one? And that one. And there. And then I'm going to put my number here. So it's number 26. And again, I like to journal um, on my, for my day, at the end of my day, I like to write on my little journaling cards. So I will be doing that. So let me just grab some paper for the back of those. I keep all my lined scraps here. And I think one of these might fit on the back of these. Yeah, that should be fine. That one's a little thin. Here, let's use this one. And I'm just going to trim up the side here. Like that. Get rid of that one. And then we're just going to put a little so that one a little piece on the edge of there and I will round out these corners of this so they will sit better let's see yep that works I'm going to round these edges of the tag out as well there okay so let's distress the edges of these little pieces of scrap paper do those okay and let's glue put some glue on this guy and we'll glue that onto the back of there So there's one. I'm sliding in there. And then let's do the other side here of this guy. So we need him to be about right on that line there, I think. Would be good. Yep. And then we're just going to round out these corners. And distress our edges. Around. And I'll just 
just make sure these corners are rounded on the tag. They seem to be fine. Yeah. So let's glue him on. And then we just have to make a tag or a journaling card for the other side. And I'm just going to glue him on there. That's good. Perfect. So we have two little journaling cards there, two little tags. And then we have this one. And then, and again, we won't have the full, we'll probably have about a three and a quarter inch um, tag to go in there. So I have, I'm just going to bring them over if I can find them. They're all over on this side of the table. And this side of the table is a mess here. I had one of the scrapbooking pads, and this one is called Solitude, and it's from Authentic. And this, these are all the little journaling cards cut out from this page. And I thought they were really cute. So I've got those, so I could probably use one of these as my journaling card. That's pretty too. Maybe use, she's cute. But I need to distress the edges of her because you don't really see the edges all that well. So we've got that one, she's cute. And I've got this one. Um, actually, I like the little birds. Got another um, card that has some a beautiful sled and some cardinals, and I'm going to use that in one of my layouts because I've been saving that one for a couple of years, and I want to use it. So now I've got two journaling cards for that. So let's set these aside, and let's get some paper for the back of these. And I think I have some lighter ones here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put them this way, and then I can journal on the side of those. I think that's two pieces, is it not? Yes, it is. So here's two single pieces. I'm just going to trim this down. You can see where I pulled it out of the book. So we'll just trim that guy down. And then he will go on. Which side is there like that. So we need to trim him off, say, and I normally just use my thumbnail and make a little mark. So I'm just going to go trim that and I'll trim the second one as well. one. Yep, that's perfect. And this little girl we have. Perfect. Okay, so let's just dress the edges of these little sheets of paper. And these are very thin. These are from um, a journal that I had. Um, just that I bought from the dollar store or something like that. And these are extra pages. So I like that I'm going to be able to see this paper be from through it, um, the design of the paper on the other side. That's kind of nice. Okay, so let's do that. And let's glue these on. And then I think we'll be pretty caught up for our, oops, I'm stuck to the paper here. <laughs> Turn. Okay, so let's glue this guy on. Let's just see where we got our birds here. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Perfect. So we've got the one little one with the little birds, and I'm just going to tuck him in there. And then we're going to glue this one on. I'm just going to take that excess glue off the top. That's what grabs my paper. If you have excess glue on the top there, it gets stuck on your paper when you're rubbing it and pulls it out of my hand. Oh, 
All right, and let's glue this one down. That's the little girl. So we're gonna glue this one down right here. Perfect, okay. There. So I have two little journaling cards in there with my Silent Night Christmas card, and I just love this Christmas card. Um, these bring back memories from our shrimp basket dinners. <laughs> and then I have these little tags that I can also write on. And I'm going to write um, all about the snow. And actually, today is December 26th, and in Ontario, they have um, locked us down again because of the COVID. Um, we are under lockdown, I believe, for 28 days. So we are going to be only going out for necessities and so we'll have lots of time to kind of catch up. Um, my, <laughs> my husband is a strong believer in taking down Christmas ornaments right away as soon as Christmas is over. Um, so I just asked them if we could take it a little slower this year and do a little bit at a time. We were in no hurry. We have nowhere to go. Um, so we're just going to take it easy and do, <laughs> do it a little slower. Most of the time it uh, gets put away really, really quickly and... I just think we've got all kinds of time on our hands to do this, so let's not rush it. So that is my layout for Silent Night, December 26th. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is I've been going through some of my um, passwords on my computer and you know getting rid of all the old ones and changing, and this is kind of the time where I go in and change all my passwords and all of my accounts and stuff. I kind of do it at the end of the year and kind of update things, you know, change the batteries in your smoke alarms. Well, I changed my passwords. <laughs> uh, but I made this last year and a friend of mine asked me to make her something. So I have a cincher that does these little coils. So I've just taken some, um, I'm just going to try and find a blank page. I don't want to open up to my password. There we go. Um, I've just taken some chipboard and covered it. These are some pages from um, one of my favorite books. So I have all those planner pages from my mom. So I just covered it with paper. And then on the inside, oops, let me just pull that off. On the inside, I've just used some scrapbooking paper. Um, so what I've done is I've printed these on an 8.5 by 11. So there's four on a page. And I'll show you them. Here. So I've printed them on an eight and a half by 11. So there's four per page and they're exactly centered and I printed them on both sides. So all I'm going to do now is get on my cutter and cut this right down the center, and right down the center. And then I will have these double pages that will fit inside this book. And I did take out one of the lines. I, when I was doing all my passwords, I felt like I didn't need that extra line in there. Um, so what I've used this time is the company, the website, ID to get in your password and then any notes if you have to you know have a special secret question or something I put the answers in there so this is what I normally make so I'm going to be making a new one for 2021 I've got all my passwords in here and I've crossed them out and changed them so many times that it's getting kind of rough um, so I'm going to make another one of these so I might um, videotape it while I'm making it and then you can maybe see how to make your own and um, I might offer this PDF of this <laughs> for people to make their own uh, but that's what I'm going to be working on in between or maybe in January I haven't really decided I'm just going to record it when I have a second um, and that's something I'll be working on for my next tutorial but I, I wanted to share that and just hope that everybody enjoys their holidays uh, if you're in Ontario and you're in a lockdown, just remember to keep in touch with people and maybe grab a journal and start journaling and writing down your thoughts. I know depression and being alone is really tough on some of the elderly people in your neighborhood, so please keep in touch with your neighbors, your friends, your family, um, and just try and stay positive. Maybe go out and build a snowman. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.